Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're doing another reaction and this is a highly recommended video again. So we're going to be doing the Sri Lankan long range patrol course. Let's get into it. With exclusive access to this once secret unit, we reveal their grueling three week selection course that will break all but the best. So far. Sri Lanka's LERP operatives are famous for taking down high-level enemy targets during the country's two and a half decade long civil war. We managed to utilize some of their very Found top that. leaders. Of course it had a huge impact. A black op unit that sacrifices manpower for stealth. <laughs> Long-range patrols gather intelligence and carry out sabotage operation deep behind enemy lines where discovery could mean death. I love how the narrator makes it like so like in-depth and dangerous um, which obviously is but yeah I've got to love the narrating um, but straight away looking very good small groups um, and they sacrifice manpower which is means they're looking for the best of the best they're not going to sacrifice training which is very good to see this elite unit was born from a 25 year civil war we were going into jungles with uh, large forces, like 25, 30 people. Most of the time we used to lose surprise. Smaller teams were needed, skilled in unconventional jungle warfare. Nice. In 1996, 20 volunteers formed the first LERP team, a top secret unit trained to infiltrate enemy lines and survive in complete isolation. Until the end of the war in 2009, the existence of this unit was kept under wraps and the identities of LERP members a secret. Oh, no, I ask it. Top secret. Today, in peacetime, there are fewer than 200 LERP operatives. Fewer than 200. Nice. A small elite club. To gain access, recruits will have to go through six months of advanced training. But just to get there, they first have to survive three weeks of hell. So yes, so six months, that's a, that's a lot, long time's training, and that's what our SF do is around six months. So very intense, it's going to be for six months. Election phase day one, Sri Lanka's Special Forces Training School, Maduro Oya National Park. 207 volunteers are undergoing their first PT test. A grueling series of cardio and strength exercises to stress the whole body. These men are already part of the Sri Lankan Special Forces. 
but qualifying to become a Lerp will take a whole new level of mental and physical stamina. At 35, Recruit 8 is the oldest in the course. Lavari said that age is not a problem. It's not. A team of instructors watch over their every move, looking to weed out the weakest. 26-year-old Recruit 52 is already struggling. He's failed the first PT test for gripping the rope with his legs. Recruit 52 will be forced to retest in another week. If he fails again, he's out of the course. The men are only at the beginning of the physical part of the selection phase. Next, they must carry 65 kilogram logs for four kilometers with an extra body weight hanging off. I've not seen that before. It's not just a physical stress on their shoulders and legs. These repetitive drills are designed to test their mental strength. Veteran lurps know exactly what kind of soldier it takes to join the team. Some of these men's identities must remain hidden. We are looking for the physically fit, mentally robust, highly motivated, highly dedicated, members. These are not ordinary uh, soldiers following the course. There are some extraordinary characters who wants to be the best of the best. Our training session was very strenuous. So you find that if they want endurance, if they are not, uh, they don't have determination, courage, they drop out. A highly secretive organization. They do not even have their own unit crest. Becoming an LRP member is a pride, honor in the special purpose. Without insignia, without any benefit, without any motto, we don't go for publicity. We don't go for credit. Nice, I like that. The next challenge no one is looking forward to. The recruits have 48 hours to march 50 kilometers. To slow them down, their packs are filled with 30 pounds of sand. To slow them down even more, they must navigate day and night through some of Sri Lanka's most inhospitable terrain. Of the 201 men left, over 10% will not make it. The 40 degree temperature will beat these soldiers down. But there's another hidden danger unique to these jungles that the recruits have to watch out for. If surprised, wild elephants can charge and kill a man. It's only six hours into the march, but Recruit 8 is beginning to struggle. This is not his first time on the course. Mama, 
දැන් අම්ම ජීවිතේ නතර නැහැ දැන් දැනට අම්ම දැන් දැන් මං ආය ආගා මගේ දැන් අම්ම තාත්තා මට දෙන්නම නැහැ ඊට පස්සේ මං දැන් හිත හයියෙන් මම හිත අදිෂ්ඨාන කරගෙන මම දැන් දැන් නැවත කෝසේ කරන්න ඒකයි recruit 8 has 30 kilometers left to go despite his determination his decision to rest may cost him Another recruit has just run into some big trouble. 201 recruits are fighting to become part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol. They are nearing the end of a brutal 50-kilometer march. Excessive heat, rugged terrain, and 50-pound packs are slowing the recruits down. But one recruit has just faced an even bigger obstacle. Instructors have just been given the alert. A recruit has been attacked by an elephant. They need to evacuate him immediately. अलिया वो पैतीन देख लेती है अलिया पीटीपास इन तो मैं आगे ही लेती हूँ अलिया पीटीपास इन लोगों साध्या मैं आपको हमारी साध्या करने दी आड़ी पारा आर्मो का साध्या करने नारी अलिया हरुना देख का इधर पासे पैक के करते मैं गाल लेती हूँ The medical team is checking for any broken bones or internal injuries. Recruit 129 has a small fracture in his arm. To walk away with a small fracture in your arm from an elephant attack, strong. He's lucky. Elephant attacks can be deadly. He survived the attack, but not the corpse. Atter mami zamani aliye ka atter mami astiye gada wagi vedila di putte mami atter mami continue karan beri na kosi. Time is nearly up for the 50-kilometer march. Recruits are rushing to make it to the finish line. Despite Recruit 8's decision to rest during the march and an injured foot, the oldest candidate in the course has just managed to complete it on time. Kakule amaru gati wedi course ge ekap me part ma ek deyak detain hinda mage ek kakule labada amata karagena man mage adisthane hinda man me point ekak awata. At the training grounds, recruits are gathering for a post-march inspection. ඔතන වලට පැහැදිලි කරලා කොහොමද ඇන්ඩ් ඉස්සෙල්ල කැම ටික කැම කොළ අනිවාර්යෙන් ගේන්න කියලා තේරෙනවද ඒක තමයි ස්පෙෂල් ෆෝස් සොල්දාදු එකේ තියෙන විනය පැහැදිද ජංගල් ඩිසිප්ලින් ඒ කැල ජංගල් ප්‍රෙසන් කොලේ ගැල්ල වැටලා හරි මේ වෙලා කැල පොඩි කැල කඩුවේ හරි පර්සන් නැහැ ඒ ඉඳන් ඊට පස්සේ තමයි කඩ්ඩි මඩ ලවා දුන්න මේ but it's not the most serious offense committed today a recruit has been caught throwing away sand from his pack It's an immediate dismissal from the corpse. ये मंग तुम्हें लेके कार करने ही ला वैर दिला वाम टेड दिला गुड़ाक बस वागन वैर वेगे इतना दे मंग आओ कैंप पे कुमार कैंप पे टेने के वैली आइंग करना के लिए इतना है वैली आइंग कर දැන් මේකේ යා කරනවා කියලා කියන්නේ අනිවාර්යෙන් යාගේ රියල් සිටුවේෂන් එකේ තියා ඒ වගේ දාලා ඉන්න ඩිසිප්ලින් කඩනවා අනිවාර්යෙන්. recruit numbers are dropping quickly. අත්තව මොඩ පොඩි අංක අසුවා 27 other recruits have failed the march. ඔය සමත් තමුල්ලා අද ඉඳන් මේ පාට මාලාවෙන් ගන්න ඉන්නවා. පැහැදිලිද? පැහැදිලිද? කිලෝමීටර් 50ක් කොම්පාස් කරලා පරිම උත්සාහ කරා. උත්සාහ කරත් මේ උත්සාහය ඇතරි නැහැ. The 174 who remain are exhausted and hungry. They think they're about to enjoy their first real meal in 48 hours. Jungle leke je mila, jungle discipline tipe na. E varak e varadi varad. Darma di no ni, right? Bina ni jagat den na, bina ni jagat. Ham apya di kaal mila, tagi no ni, right? Oh, no.
Some men smuggled out apples. You gotta try it, ain't ya? The punishments are used to build teamwork. One mistake from one man means everyone suffers. In a combat situation, that rule is deadly serious. Lerps can penetrate hundreds of kilometers through difficult and hostile terrain. But when missions call for speed, Sri Lanka's special forces have faster ways of getting around. Rajakari Kiran, Ikan Kandu, El Itavase, Madavaguru, Ona, Tanakedi, Abata, Shanika, Mavdaunapedi, Itamat, Suksa Makari, Hasuru and the Pulva. The Combat Riders Squadron are part of Sri Lanka's Special Forces First Regiment, deployed on missions where. Easy way, quick way to get around. Bajikalu Samaga, Pavichikan, Hama Aviakuma. <laughs> From AK-47 assault rifles Good shot. to rocket-propelled grenades. <laughs> Good shot. Back at the selection course, instructors are upping the pace. 174 survivors have to sprint five and a half kilometers through the reserve's rugged landscape. Their toughest hurdle will be racing up a 315-meter high rock face. They have just 36 minutes to complete the course. In this heat, Dehydration can occur quickly, and calf muscles start to cramp. Coming down slopes like this puts an extra strain on their knees. A simple wrong footing, and the course could end right here. Once at the base of the cliff, it's a race to finish. All the recruits have reached the end. But Recruit 199 is showing early stages of heat stroke. If he's not treated immediately, it could be life-threatening. He has lost fluids and his body temperature has risen. If they can't control his temperature and get fluids in him fast, he could go into shock and die. Yeah, I'm not surprised at that. He isn't the only one suffering. Recruit 2 has a lower limb injury that's threatening his performance. Recruit 2 is a veteran Special Forces soldier who was shot during the war. Seriously impressive after an injury like that coming away and then trying to attempt this course. It's the end of week one. 33 men haven't made the grade. 
And for the 174 that remain, things are about to get even tougher. This course only wants the best. In a battle situation, these men could be faced with some deadly choices. 174 recruits are fighting to become a part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol. These special forces soldiers are pushed to their limits here because when things go wrong behind enemy lines, a wrong decision can cost everyone their lives. A total of 685 special forces personnel were killed during the Civil War. Lerp Recruit 2 knows the horror of war too well. When LERP operatives penetrate deep behind enemy lines to gather intelligence or ambush a target, it can take days or weeks. The recruits are in the middle of a stalking exercise. They need to crawl 450 meters to an enemy camp and eliminate a hostile target unseen. To do that, they have to cross three defense lines secured with barbed wire. They have four hours to complete the exercise. <laughs> Recruit 52 is leading his team through the long grass. He's injured his arm and it's swollen. This exercise is testing whether leaders will take the most efficient way possible without rushing to the finish line. Apidang make the Visheshem Balaporutene, Saturagi, Nrikshaning, Midin, Ekan Saturu Kandurak, Asan, the Tamai, stock in the Kapikaran. Exercise Kerana Pulang, where the Tamai got a kill out, a yard kill the Dina, movement tolling, Baharo, again, Mahansi Venakota, Samara Tangolatino, Badagan, Etakota, Etango, the Makat in Akitaliano. Sri Lanka's long range patrol have mastered the art of invisibility. In a Kalaguna, there's a Guniano, a Kipadesa Tino, a Padesa, Poivide, Boom Pade, Boomia, the Nirmani, Vilati, Nikil Balanunapi, eat Pasha Piperaka, Kianita, take a Boomi, Sampun, Sansan, the Nikal Balatini, Eanuapi, Atulidi, Edival, Nirmani Kerno, me Yamadapir. Originally developed by Scottish gamekeepers, the best ghillie suits are handmade. Meter, Vishipata, Vitrasan, Avasana. It takes our snipers a long time to make their ghillie suits and they're all they make them themselves. Three hours into the stalking exercise, Recruit 52's team has made it to within 150 meters of their target. His front men have been spotted. Then, Rasni Vedi, 
ඉතින් නවතත් ලයින් එක ක්‍රොස් කරන්න ගොඩක් මහන්සි වෙන්න වෙනවා ටීම් එකට. ඒතර සතුරේ මොකද ටීම් එකේම අට දෙනාක මේ අට දෙනා මේක දුර රතා මේ කැමති එක කරේ. But there is only a moment to respond. Recruits have no idea what they're about to be hit with next. Recruits fighting to become a part of Sri Lanka's elite long-range patrol are in week two of one of the toughest selection courses in the world. The 174 recruits who remain are about to go through a battle casualty test. In teams, they must carry the stretcher through four kilometers of dense jungle in just 40 minutes. It's a team building exercise with real life implications. We may make a test or not. Can't damn it. Can't damn hangi. Ah, it's a matter of naay ka. Team board naay ke tino na hamte sse maya samay isra hangi la team me ka kalyaave liyesi matana ki gaman karan na maya samay maga penna. Recruit five is in charge of his team. කටු ගස්සන මනං තියෙන හින්දා ගොඩක් අමාරු යන්න ටීම් එකට එක කෙනෙක් ස්ට්‍රෙචර් එකේ දාන්න හින් තමයි ගොඩක් අමාරු සමහරට මේකත් ටික එකින් එක අතර අවබෝධය නැතුව සමහරට ස්ට්‍රෙචර් මාරු කරනකොට සමහර නොසිල්ගත් කමින් තමන්ගේ වෙලාවේ ස්ට්‍රෙචර් මාරු කරනකොට අතාරින්න පුළුවන් අතරලා වෙලා වැටෙන්න පුළුවන් recruit 5 in his team have come in on 36 minutes ඉතරම ඔපරේෂන් එකේ දෙන ටීම් වර්ක් එක තමයි ටීම් වර්ක් එකේ තියෙන තරම් තමයි ඔපරේෂන් එකේ සාර්ථකත්වය තියෙන්නේ තනිම කවදවත් යුද්ධයක් කරන්න බෑ ටීම් එකේ තියෙන එකමුතු බා ගන්නව තමයි යුද්ධයේ පරිදිනවද දිනනවද කියන එක තීරණය වෙන්නේ There is only a moment of respite for the recruits after the stretcher nice. run They just had a lesson in teamwork but now they have to fight each other They want men who really want to join this unit and will do anything to get there. This will take their last ounce of energy before their final PT test. The 174 recruits that remain now face a succession of cardio, strength and endurance tests that will push them to the limit. They have to pass them or they are out of the selection course. Recruit 52 has failed two of the three attempts at the PT test. Today is his last chance to pass. With an injury on his hand. The rope climb will be his toughest challenge. He has to make it to the halfway mark to pass, but he cannot use his legs to pull himself up. පොහොම දෙස්ට් එක ෆේල් වුණා. මම ඉතින්නේ රොට් එක යන්න. අමාරු එක එක නැග්ග කකුල් දෙකෙන් ග්‍රිප් කරා මේ. So lot to do as well after the beastings they've had over the uh, weeks. You know, it's been a lot of high intensity training, going out with patrols, leopard calling, etc. So nice. ඒ කියන්නේ දැන් මේ බී ටෙස්ට් එක අනිවාර්යෙන් පාස් වෙන්න ඕනේ නේද? ඔහු හිතා ඉන්නේ කොහොම හරි පාස් වෙන්න. Recruit 52 has climbed just high enough to pass the test. කොහමත් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම කොහොම හරි නගින විදිහට තමයි තමයි හිටියේ අනිවාර්යයෙන් කොහොම හරි නැග්ග. ඇත්තම සතුටුයි මොකද අතේ ආබාධිත තියාගෙන කොහොම හරි පී ටෙස්ට් එක පාස් වෙනවා. ඒ හැම දෙයක්ම මොරල් එක තමයි වැදගත්. The 164 recruits that remain have been put through extreme physical stress. But now their mental strength will be tested. Instructors are about to assess their analytical skills. Recruits have 1 minute to observe various objects in a room and determine the kind of person that lives there. 
මෙයා විශ්ලේෂණය කිරීමේ හැකියාවක් තියෙන හොඳ බුද්ධියක් තියෙන කෙනෙක් තමයි LRP එකට සුදුසු. කියන්නේ මේ තෝරා ගැනීමේ අධීරයේදී හොඳ සුදුසු පුද්ගලයෙක් වශයෙන් අපි මෙතෙන්දී මේ තෝරා ගන්න. ඒතරම ගත්තට පස්සේ අපි ක්‍රියාණිත කරනකොට කුඩා කණ්ඩායම වශයෙන් තමයි ක්‍රියාණිත කරන්නේ. එතකොට කුඩා කණ්ඩායමක් වශයෙන් ක්‍රියාණිත කරනකොට මේ කට්ටියට තීරණ ගැනීම සහ බුද්ධි මට්ටම කියන දේ ඊටම ඉහළ මට්ටම Yeah, I really like that test. Um, really going to test them in a different way. It's not always just being about physical or being able to shoot something. Um, you actually need to be a thinking soldier. You know, you need to be quite smart. How they perform now will weigh heavily on whether they get selected. ධනවාදයට එරෙහි කටයුතු වලට ඒ පිරිස් හසුරව හසුරවන්න යම් කිසි ප්ලෑන් එකක් සිද්ධ ඉෂ්ට කරලා තියෙන සිදු කරමින් පවතින බවට මට සාක්ෂි හම්බ වුණා විශේෂයෙන් ලැබිත ඒ ලැබිලා තිබ්බ පෝස්ටර් අර එහෙම යනුව මොහු හතරයි කිව්වේ ඒ හතරෙන් ඒ හතර කියලා තියෙන නුවා ගොඩක් දේවල් කිව්වා Recruit 2's disappointing report will affect his overall assessment at the end of the selection course. Palavindi levitche kale poddak simithai podi podi ten walata hita yomu karanna beri una. E nisa karunu adu washein thamai kiya ganna puluwan one. Mata computer se athiyana mata man chenikawa eke thiyena dewal nirikshane karala eke mokadda kiya balla mata eka avilla eliyata illa mata kiyanna thiyena. ियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाकारियाक
day 17 of 21. Recruits are about to start the toughest challenge of the selection course, a 100 kilometer navigation march that they have to complete in 72 hours. In pairs, recruits will have to navigate their way to 18 checkpoints. But with no rest the night before, they are all marching on empty. Close to 20% will not make it. Recruit 52 has managed to survive this far despite a leg and a wrist injury. Recruit 5 is feeling his injuries too. But bad news for Recruit 2, the veteran Special Forces soldier wounded in the war. <laughs> Recruit 2 can now only sit and wait for the decision of the instructors. It's 72 hours into the 100 kilometer march, and the first recruits are crossing the finish line. So far, 29 recruits haven't made it on time, including Recruit 2 and Recruit 52. But ultimately, it's up to the instructors to decide who stays and who goes. They are close to the end, but it's not quite over yet. One hundred sixty-four recruits are on their last day of selection. They have one final test. The confidence jump. Jeez. Recruits have to climb an 80-foot ladder. The equivalent of an eight-story building. At the top, they need to do pull-ups and let go. It's called the confidence jump for good reason. Landing in the water the wrong way could lead to drowning. A safety diver is on standby. After three weeks of non-stop training, 
recruits the have ladder, to summon so. your courage one last time. Mamma, you can see the letter. 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 164 recruits have reached the Hello. end of the selection course for the Sri Lankan Long Range Patrol. They're about to find out who's made the cut. <laughs> Amarura come with Jam, Timmy Gatti, Helen Balno, Ekativa, Kumu, Matekum, Programming, Edgan Nikila, Tama Maginati, Mamko Sekarogan Adam Berno. Recruit five, Recruit one sixty nine, and Recruit eight are among the 122 recruits who have passed the selection course. But 85 are left disappointed. Gaman kara, those who made it have more than five months of intense advanced skills training ahead to become part of the elite LERP team. But the past three weeks have prepared them for the rest of their careers. They have made it to Sri Lanka's most elite special forces unit. <laughs> Eking Galila Ava, Danganagate, Galila Abu, Eke, Tahapi, Capacurbu, Deva Lucupati Bala Capra Dagan Lepuna. A very good to watch. That is a tough three weeks. That's a selection just to go on, obviously, to do the next five months worth of training, and then they've got to pass that. Some really rigorous tests, and it shows the mental resilience and the physical robustness of um, the Sri Lankan soldiers. What they have to go through as well and what they actually go on to is an elite unit that um, everyone's going to be proud of to do. Some of it looks really tough, um, so really hats off to them. A very interesting video, very, very interesting to watch. Um, the terrain that they work in, unbelievably hard and stuff like that. You know, I don't know how I cope on that at all. Looks very hard. It's not just some physical tests. You've got the analyzing as well. You've got the confident tests, the navigating around the jungle as well. So very good watch. Let us know if you enjoyed it. Click the subscription button if you did and I'll catch you in a video soon.